So today we're going to talk about for loops in the context of MATLAB programming. So we're going to start with a, an exercise from chapter 5 of the Stormy Attaway textbook, exercise number 1, which is about for loops. So we're asked to display a number of values from a vector uh, or a list of numbers. And so we'll do that in the script editor of MATLAB. We'll have a container or a variable called values, and we're going to assign a number of values to it, starting with 1.5, and then we're going to go in increments of 0 0.2 all the way up to 2.7. So this is going to be a list of numbers assigned into the uh, values variable. The next thing we need to do is create a loop that goes through each one of those values and displays it. So for that, we will use a for loop starting with the keyword for. And every time the loop cycles through, it will go 1.5, 1.7, 1.9, etc. So I start with keyword for. I create an index variable called index that will count all the times I need to display a number. It starts at 1, increments in 1, and ends at the corresponding position of the last value in values, the, ve the vector or list of values called values. I will use the fprintf function to display a percent %f or floating point number corresponding to each one of the values in the variable called values. And that's how I display it right there. I then highlight, right click, then evaluate selection, and as you can see, all, oh no, not all my values are there and they're kind of all of a mess. All I see is 1.5, a bunch of zeros. I've made a mistake. So how do I fix this? Well, the first thing I need to do is add in an extra line every time I display a number with slash n. So I put the slash n to the right of the percent %f, which will insert a new line. I highlight, right click, evaluate selection, and there you see I have, oh no, I don't have all my numbers. I have 1.5 displayed a bunch of times. That's only the first value in values. Okay, so now I've got to figure out how to make this better. So I'm missing a bunch of numbers and I'm displaying it to the wrong significant figure level. There's too many zeros. So the first thing I'll do here is remove the zeros by assigning um, the right formatting to the percent %f. I want one significant figure, so I want to say zero, sorry, 0.1 in front of the F, which means one significant figure to the right. I highlight, I right click, I evaluate selection, and there you go. So now I'm displaying my list of numbers on each new line, and it's one point, and I'm still missing the other numbers in the list of numbers called values. I have to change the one that's in the parentheses at values to index to correspond to the location along the list of numbers. As we increment through the for loop, I highlight, I right click, I evaluate, and there you have it. Each one of the numbers that I wanted is there from 1.5 to the 2.7, which you can't see on the bottom of the screen. And there you are.